Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another LSPDFR tutorial. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer here. And today, guys and gals, we are going to be uh, installing Immersive Dispatch. It's an updated uh, tutorial from my previous one that I did a couple months ago when this mod came out. And um, I just, uh, uh, just a day ago, a little over a day ago, I just did a tutorial on Grammar Police and Immersive Dispatch just works so well with Grammar Police. So um, let's get into it. But before we do, if you're new here, go ahead and make sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe and ring that bell so that you know when new kick-ass tutorials are posted for you to enjoy as well as patrols and vlogs and live streams and meet the gamers which is getting big um hope you all can join us on the meet the gamers um that's every saturday at 9 30 p.m eastern standard time and uh come show your boy jeffrey gamer some love along with criminal justice gaming with cookies and a special guest we try to bring on a special guest every week and it might be somebody well, it's always somebody that's in the LSPDFR world, whether they're a moderator, a big timer, or somebody that's just starting off and looking for some recognition. Um, so definitely don't forget to check that out. Uh, Meet the Gamers Discord is linked down below. Pop in there. You can see past episodes, future guests, past guests, and just chat with the hosts, me, CJ, and Cookies. Okay? So let's get into this, guys and gals. Go ahead and click that link down below that says Immersive Dispatch. And that is going to bring you to this page right here. And this is going to be version 1.4.0.1. Let's get rid of this monster ad that's down at the bottom there. This is by Officer Pope. Um, I've had the pleasure of speaking with him um, in my last tutorial that I did. He's a great guy. Officer Pope, thank you so much for your continued contribution to the LSPDFR world. I think this this mod is something I will always use as well as the pros. I, I said it with Grammar Police. All the pros use Grammar Police. All the pros use Immersive Dispatch. Let's be like the pros, guys and gals, and let's get this installed into our game, okay? Um, now, you can uh, use, you know, you can't use, you can read through all of this, but we're going to go through all this, and it supports, as you can see, Grammar Police, Ultimate Backup, Stop the Ped, and Better EMS, Okay. Um, you can see the current additions include officer checks, panic buttons, uh, 10 ones, and, and, and I'll show you guys how to get to all this, okay? Um, last time it was updated was November 27th, so not too far, not too far away, but this is an updated version to uh, my last uh, tutorial. So, and there is a major thing that has changed that I'm going to show you folks right now okay so go ahead and click the download this file all right agree and download and like i said in my previous tutorial sometimes not in this case but sometimes the authors uh place these main file buttons in the wrong spot so don't always go off of the main file just make sure that the number here matches the number that was up at the top of the of the description of the mod uh and, or you can just check right here and make sure that the number falls in place. In this case, it is 1401 that we want. And the main file is correct. So let's go ahead and click that download button. And for me, it's probably going to just download it and bring it up automatically right over here. Three, two, no, one. Yeah, I screwed that up. All right, so we got that, we got that downloaded. We got our WinRAR. Go ahead and exit out of the web browser. And we're going to bring our WinRAR right about there. And let's go ahead and bring up our uh, GTA 5 main directory. So you want to bring up your file explorer. And for Steam users, you're going to go to your disk drive that you have it installed in. Mine will be C. Then you want program files times 86. Steam. Steam apps. And common. All right. Now, real quick. One thing you can do. Left click. Right click copy left click right click paste okay once you do that you will make up a, a backup copy and folks uh this my this is if you mess something up which which would be hard to do okay this is a simple drag and drop simple i and i 
and it's a great mod so i don't foresee you wanting to take it out of your game but if for some reason it makes it crash you can just delete this file and bring up your copy file and you're right back to where you were i highly suggest you do that i always suggest you make up copies okay so we're going to double click the grand theft auto folder that we want to install this into and it's going to bring us right to our main directory front page that's what i like to call it right here it's got your mods folder your plugins it's got everything right here okay guys and gals so you want to make sure your window's not all all tight you know you don't want it like that drag it out a little bit so you got that buffer zone right here guys and gals okay all right so we are in here now if you have an older older version of immersive dispatch this is what you're going to want to do okay you're going to want to go into plugins lspdfr and you want to go to op immersive dispatch and you're going to see uh this um you're going to see this i and i with the little with the little sprocket right there okay just go ahead right click that and delete it okay this is if you have the older version the version that's before uh the 1401 an older older version so once you delete that you'll still have this dll in this pdb okay don't worry about it guys we're going to keep those there we don't have to delete those okay here's what you want to do all right so let's go back to the front page of our main directory all right so we went back and now we're back to where our mods folder is and our els and all this is right here go to your window I double click the op immersive dispatch all right now this is huge right here this immersive dispatch phraseology double click that folks this is your bible for all the phrases and actions that immersive dispatch will recognize okay trust me this is huge this will tell you that the 10 codes for ems 1052 gives you ems 1051 will give you a tow truck it tells you how you can call for uh, state police which is new in this version the state police uh backup is new in this version which is super awesome um and it, it just it, it my suggestion is print this out print it out study it that way when you're out in out, out in patrol or if you're looking to join a 5m so a lot of 5m servers go off of these 10 codes okay um so it's always good to just learn these I, i'm still trying to learn them but i'll get there i know the basic ones but there are some that i really need to to really start learning so this is very important okay all right so here's what we want to do you see this op immersive dispatch folder double click that and we have a rage native in here okay now i already have a rage native if you already had a, have a rage native here's what you want to do you want to left click this rage native drag it to your buffer zone just like right here and let it go it's going to bring up this box right here that's going to ask if you want to replace it don't click replace just yet Go to compare info for both files, all right? Now, once you're in here, you can see that this file that comes with the Immersive Dispatch is from August 12th, 2020. The file that is already in my Grand Theft Auto main directory is from November 3rd, 2020. So the one I have in here is newer. It's more updated. They don't really change. There's nothing different. You could stick with the you could install this one and it would run fine okay but i like to have everything you know close to the date so i am not going to install this okay now if yours if if the one you have in here is older than this one then go ahead and put it in okay so let's exit out of here and let's go ahead and highlight all three and if you're going to replace your, your rage native <laughs> Or better yet, if you're not going to replace your Rage Native, go ahead and hold your control and deselect Rage Native. Okay? If you are going to replace it, keep all three highlighted. Left click, drag to the buffer zone, drop it in. All right? And it's going to ask you if you want to replace. Go ahead and click replace. And there we go. Now, what we want to do is we are all set with the WinRAR. Let's go ahead and exit out of that. And we're going to double click our plugins. I want to show you guys something. And we're going to double click LSPDFR. Now, if we just installed a new one, if we go down, there is no OP Immersive Dispatch INI. Here's what we got to do, folks. We are going to go into the game. All right, it's one of those mods. 
And this is the uh, newish part. My last tutorial, when you installed it, it had the I and I. That's why I wanted to do this updated tutorial because folks, when they install this mod for some reason, the, well, not for some reason, but when they install this mod, people are contacting me and saying, there's no I and I, there's no I and I. It's because you have to launch the game and you have to go on duty. Once you go on duty, it will load immersive dispatch into the game. Once it does that, we can then exit the game and come back into this. So let's jump into the game, let's load it up, and then let's come back to here, okay? Won't take long with the magic of editing. I will see you guys in the game. All right, so here we are in the game, and now we wanna go on duty, so let's just go ahead and let's force duty. And while we force duty, you are going to see that you'll see grammar police load up, and you'll see everything that I have in there start to load up. And once you see immersive dispatch load up, where are you? Oh, fire callouts. Oh, let me go ahead and write that down. See, these little side things are great because they tell you when stuff is. So there's there's immersive dis dispatch. Now you see one link in 18, right? And it says you're on the latest version. So that is good. And now that it loaded into the game, we're going to wait for them all to load in so I don't mess nothing up here. Now that it's loaded into the game, we are going to go ahead and go away. There we go. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to exit out. Nope. We're going to exit out of the game. All right. Now, here we are. We just exited out. We loaded it in. Now we exit it out. Okay. For some reason, my screen goes black like that and it comes back on every time I hit. I don't know. Let me know if it does the same thing for you. All right, so let's go back to our main directory, okay? And we're gonna go to the common and we're gonna go into Grand Theft Auto. Now, if we go back to plugins, LSPDFR, we should now have an OP, there it is, an OP immersive dispatch with the little sprocket. So we deleted the old one and we, we got the new one in because we went into the game. So now we can double click this and now we can put in our call sign so go ahead and put in your call sign and guys and gals we are going to go back into the game for a little lengthy a uh, little lengthy tutorial here but it's worth it i promise you it's worth it now you got the beat files and you got all this um you can keep all this the same uh mdt active yep keep now right here officer check-in <laughs> this can be super annoying because if you do not check in with dispatch she will send a panic call and if you're in the moment okay if you're in the moment and you don't remember to call into her sometimes she doesn't understand you and <laughs> you're at a regular traffic stop and now you got code five you got code five backup coming it can get pretty annoying so me myself i i usually just put this to um I will put this to false, capital F A L S E. Okay, and then you got check in time. If you want to keep it active and you want to keep it at true, you can change this. This is in seconds. So 120 seconds, obviously, that's um, two minutes. So every two minutes, she's going to check in. And it gets repetitive. It gets, I'm telling you, it gets a little annoying. Um, now, active the panic button. I set this to uh what do i set this to i want to say i set this to oh because my u is set up to my ultimate backup okay so i'm going to change mine to oh if you don't have anything set to you leave it there and that'll be your in your panic button if you you want to hit that panic button real quick you just hit that o button and boom you've got uh your code 5 backup coming okay then you got the 10-4 beep, which is fine. Keep that the same. Your menu, your in-game immersive dispatch menu is going to be the L key. I'll keep that there. And pretty much everything else, everything else is uh, pretty much the same. So uh, I usually just leave that stuff at default. Now, if you changed anything, which you probably did, you probably put in your own call sign. Don't forget to hit file, then go to save. 
We can exit out of this. We can exit out of our main directory. Now, let's shoot back into the game and check out some uh, 10 codes in that and make sure that it linked in the uh, call sign and everything. All right, I'll see you in there again. <laughs> All right, everybody, so we are back into the game. And I purposely didn't force duty because last time we forced duty, before we got the I and I, you saw that it said one uh, link in 18. So let's go ahead and let's force duty again. Okay. And let's look for that. There it is. Grammar police. Oh, nope. That's grammar police. And we're going to wait for that immersive dispatch to kick up here. And... Looking forward to the fire callouts because those are awesome callouts. Those are awesome callouts. And I'm still not seeing the immersive. Dude. There it is. And there you go. You can see my one Adam six is on there. So we know it took. We know the I and I worked. Everything is golden. Now, what I have in front of me are some of the uh, phrases that we looked up that were in the WinRAR. Okay. When I told you to print them out, study them. Okay. Study them. Study them study them okay so let's say we are returning to the station one out of six to dispatch an immersive dispatch goes so so well with grammar police it goes really well with it oh that was kind of bad timing right there dispatch Show me 1019. Roger that. 10, so there you go. 1019 returning, returning to, returning to station. Sometimes if you just say your call sign, she'll say go ahead. One out of six. Go ahead. And let's say we lost our suspect. We were chasing him. We lost him. We're going to be 10-1. We lost our suspect. It might not work because we're not on an active call. Let's see. Yeah, I think we might have to be on an active call for that one. Um, let's see if we can find one that you really don't have to be on an active call. Just a couple more here, guys. Uh, let's see here. here a meal break or we're investigating you get to a call one out of six show me code six let's see if she that brings up investigating Roger that. there we go and now you can see your status from grammar police oh she's asking if backups required which is another cool feature of immersive dispatch affirmative so we said yes, they're going to send some backup. Roger that. Backup required. So boom, there you go. Now you got code 2 backup coming. So it's real cool, folks. I, I encourage you, if you're going to install this, I encourage you to print out those phrases and just go in your game and just, just play with those phrases and just see all the cool things that this mod has to offer. I really hope this was helpful to you. Um... Please, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that like, hit that subscribe, and ring that bell. To all of my subscribers, thank you all so, so much. Um, everything I do, I do it for you. Brian Adams, circa 90s. You guys might not know about him. <laughs> but uh, please, check out all my YouTube brothers and sisters down below. I got links down below for days. Um, I've got Facebook pages down there, uh, Discords. Reddit pages, please go check out the Reddit page. We're really trying to get this Reddit page big, and we're trying to make it so anybody and everybody can share on this page. So go check that out. And that is going to be it. Until next time, guys and gals, be safe, be healthy, be positive. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is out. Later.